to be the best, you have to be able to handle the worst. Hey there, how are you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, what are we looking at today with the cryptocurrency market? Looks like we're taking a little bit of a slide backwards today, but that's nothing to be alarmed about. Uh, we still got a market cap of $135 billion, and that's absolutely amazing. Uh, we got 3.7 billion trading in the last 24 hours, showing me that trading is down a bit. And we got a BTC dominance of 48.2%, which is real close to 50%, which is always all right in my book. Uh, we got BTC coming in at $3,923. It's only down 1.8%. I mean, that's nothing to be alarmed about. We're still hanging out real close to $4,000. Uh, I believe pretty much once we get on the other side, $4,000 here, we're going to be seeing our run up to $5,000 real fast. Uh, we got Ethereum coming in at $283. That's down 1.1%. I mean, we got to be able to take a little bit of a slide back after we've had a few days of green like this. So, I mean, this is nothing to be alarmed about. And we got Bitcoin Cash still continuing on their run up $479. That's up two more percent. Uh, we got Ripple coming in at 18.3 percent or 18.3 cents. That's down one percent. We got Litecoin still hanging out on the other side of the safety zone, but taking a slide backwards 3.25 percent, coming in at $52.35. Uh, we got Dash making some upward movements, only a half a percent though at the moment, but still it's upward movements, $327. Uh, we got NEM coming in at 23 cents. That's a slide backwards at 3.6%. We got Monero sliding backwards 2.1%, hanging out at $95. Uh, Ethereum Classic also sliding back 2%, coming in at $11.30. Uh, we got Zcash only 1% of a slide back, coming in at $186, but they're struggling again. They're inside of 200 again. Uh, we got Steam sliding back 6.2%. Uh, but, you know, I want that stuff to stay cheap. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get you guys to upvote me, get that stuff for free, right? Hopefully, I believe this stuff's going to take off here. The ideal of a social media platform out there actually paying the content creators for their content instead of just all these commercials and everyone else making a dime off your hard-earned you know your hard-earned uh, thoughts and putting it on pen to paper and making it flourish and onto something great here on the internet is definitely hard work so people should be getting paid for that not that I'm creating the best out here but some other people are creating really good stuff and they need to be getting paid for it so steam is a great platform and I'd like to see the value in that go up but not till I get some right <laughs> we got steam back dollar coming in a buck oh three that's down seven percent but i'm all right with that too because it's only supposed to be pegged at a buck so a buck oh three sounds like a dollar and some cheap tax to me uh so what do we got here for news today Looks like uh, we got 3.5% of BTC transactions or segregated witness transactions. I mean, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the more segregated witness transactions we have going on, the more we'll be able to get into the block. Uh, the smaller the mempool will be. I mean, this is exactly what we were, you know, going for here when we were uh, trying to get segregated witness adopted. Uh, next, we're going to start being able to see second tier chains getting adopted and added on, like the Lightning Network, Root Stock, Atomic Swap. Uh, you know, all of these things, which are going to definitely bring some more value to the Bitcoin network, which is definitely how we're. I'm personally seeing the value of the Bitcoin, you know, network go up to what we're expecting it to be in 2020 of like 50 to 100 thousand dollars or whatever whatever these people are predicting. Um, with that, going along the same lines, we got uh, weight and loans. They dropped off of the New York agreement. Uh, they're saying that, you know, there's too much contention with it. That's not exactly what they were signing up for, you know. So, in other words, they've decided they don't really want another fork like we had with Bitcoin Cash. Uh, you know, this is, you know, starting to be expected. Uh, as these attacks are done, you know, in all these different forms on Bitcoin Network, Bitcoin becomes resistant to it. And we've seen the attack of Bitcoin Cash on it. And we've decided that we don't want to have that again. And we have people and companies back up this, I, I, these ideals so i mean this is great let's hopefully let's not be spit, splitting off a of bitcoin anymore uh it was definitely a difficult time to get people to understand what was happening that were newer to the community uh you know i didn't have any fun trying to explain what bitcoin cash was um so let me see the last little bit of news i got here for you guys is that uh ethereum's test net uh, they went ahead and they were able to perform their first transactions using Z Snarks uh, on it. And I mean, this is great. This is showing that they're going to be trying to bring some privacy features to the Ethereum network. And as I told you, I personally believe that privacy is going to be one of the next big things in cryptocurrencies uh, with the way that... You know, the government, and the IRS, and everyone else, and now we're looking at China, everyone's trying to crack down on cryptocurrency, and I'm continuing to see this probably grow into the future, uh, you know, regulations on it. So, I mean, if this is going to be our money of the future, we need to see about some more privacy on it so that it can't be used against us through tracking. Um, so, if you like everything that's going on here on Bitcoin and Coffee, I definitely need you to hit that subscribe numbers. Uh, you know, we've been growing around here, our numbers are getting pretty big on Steemit, uh, but 
but I'm not really getting all that many upvotes. Looks like 10 to 14 people are actually upvoting me over there and under 20 people are watching my video from there. Uh, I'd like to see those numbers grow. So if you're on Steam it, please upvote me even if it's just 1% so I know that you took the time to watch my video. Um, if you're on YouTube, uh, please comment below. Tell me what you guys are thinking of these videos. Tell me what I can do to start trying to make them better. Um, you know, I've heard lots of requests for live streams. I don't know if I can really be doing that. I am... I stutter a few times when I do this. I don't always get this out on my first take. So uh, giving you guys a live stream, uh, let me get a little more comfortable with this before I try that. Uh, so if you guys like everything that's going on, as always, I have affiliation codes down there below and I got all those tools to help you figure out the cryptocurrencies networks. Uh, I got my link down there to show you where Steam is if you're not over there and tools to help you build better Steam posts because you gotta go over there, you gotta upload my posts, you gotta be posting yourself, getting that free cryptocurrency. Uh, I have all sorts of affiliation codes for Amazon Amazon down there if you're looking for hardware wallets and whatnot. Uh, I also got Genesis mining code down there and those donational addresses if you got the extra cryptocurrency. So as always, you guys, keep your BTC safe.